Bill Scott is the reason that this project started. He was a patient who was referred to our lab who had a severe speech impediment because of a stroke that he had. And we looked at his device, which was so kludgy and so large and so ancient, and we said, we have to do something better for Bill and people like Bill. And so we set out to reinvent assistive devices for people who can't speak. Because it wasn't just Bill. It was thousands of people with ALS with brain cancer, with autism, who needed a whole new approach to speaking devices. We needed to build something that wasn't just a little bit better, but an order of magnitude more powerful. The problem with traditional devices is that they throw hundreds of words at you when you only need a few. What if speech devices could use your location to give you just the words you need most, right when you need them? What if it could figure out you're at Tim Hortons and automatically show you words like Timbits and Double Double? Our technology is this locational filter. We take this filter and put it inside beautiful mobile devices. And the result is faster, easier, and better communication for people with speech impairments. Let me give you a quick demo of Marco Polo. Here's our beautiful standard mode. Tapping a word or phrase speaks it out loud. It's easy to navigate and easy to customize remotely using our web app. Tapping the orange button switches into location aware mode. You can find nearby places and add your own places. Let's see what's around us. We grab our location using a GPS along with the Google Maps server. We call home to the Marco Polo server and it sends back places of interest to each user. It looks like the movie theater and rehab clinic are close by. Tapping the movie theater brings up a dynamic list of relevant words for that place sent instantly from our servers. That's how our system works and this is what makes our technology unique. Being context aware is a real strength. Location awareness allows users to access the words that they need more quickly because they'll be at their fingertips as soon as they pull the device out of their pocket. By having location aware software, you're able to suggest words that are actually relevant to the situation. The ability to come up with information that makes sense in a particular place, in a particular time, in a particular activity would be very powerful. I'm really excited to start my own business around this time. This project if successful, meets a real and growing need that really reflects the demographics of this part of this century. Marco Polo runs on a variety of kinds of hardware. It runs on tablets, it runs on smartphones. Since mobile phones are so ubiquitous, it's really easy for uh, people with this particular condition to acquire uh, Marco Polo as an application. So as a researcher, it's really important for us to be able to take what we're doing and move it outside of the university for a couple of reasons. And foremost among them is that we want to continue to improve the product. We think Marco Polo contrasts very favorably with our competitors. Uh, it's just old, older technology that, that could be outdated but hasn't been. Like something you would get 10 years ago. Traditionally, uh, assistive devices were designed by engineers and people who were focused on the back end of the technology and not so much uh, focused on the way that people want to integrate the use of the device in their life. Most importantly, our software could make a real difference in people's lives. It's something that's genuinely useful to people who, who need it. Yeah, I think that people who have speech disorders really need this kind of device and it stands to really impact their quality of life. This device is the only way that you can speak to those around you, convey your thoughts, emotions, your needs. And so it's only right that the device that you use for that should be excellent, beautiful, easy to use. We have never seen anybody use any of our technology before this quickly. It would be unlike anything they've ever used. People who are going to use the product probably can't wait, they just don't really.